hello everyone today I thought I would recreate my last look but take on some feedback and try to make it better um, I've already uploaded like before even uploading that video I uploaded a TikTok and yeah heaps of people freaking loved it like loved it loved it heaps of people like no one was mean but some people were like I don't really like it or they were like I'd like it better if you did so and so so I thought I'd try around too with some of the feedback um, and just see how it goes and also in this video I'm gonna do a full face of new makeup or as much new stuff as I can find in my drawers I've got that much stuff in my new stuff drawers stuff 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 that I really want to try that I haven't tried just yet for my channel so that's what we're doing today no I've not filmed the PR haul yet or my Mac lip swatch video yet or anything um, I have still been feeling a little like exhausted because of being sick and everything um go check out my video from when I was sick I filmed a get ready with me and it was struggle town but I loved it and you guys are so nice on it and saying that you loved the video so yay anyways time to try some new stuff I'm gonna first put on a serum I have actually moisturized and try a new one and I just don't know how I feel about it like I still feel a little bit dry so I'm gonna use some serum and then primer this you know technically you should do before you found it I mean before you friggin moisturize but whatever oh my god the packaging is stunning oh, I love it oh my god my jaw just clicked TMJ things um so this is the wishful thirst trap juice it's for hydrating soothing glow firming and tightening let's put some on oh that feels so cold on my skin it's just a normal texture for a serum very watery feels very hydrating like so hydrating oh my god that's what I needed the name is accurate okay I'll have to keep trying that and let you guys know how it goes oh my god that's right I have this I found it remember I was trying to find it so I could use it in one of my like full face first impressions and I couldn't find it I was like I know I bought it and I don't know where it went um so let's try it today as long as it's not too dark because I just realized it's got a color to it oh it looks dark. Mm. I'm going to try it anyway. This is in the shade medium. The Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Let's just pop on like a small amount. Is this even like a primer? I feel like it's more of like a glow product like the Auric, isn't it? That's what people told me. I'm just going to like pop some on. And then I'm going to go in with my flat face brush by So Beauty. This is a set that's coming very soon. It's stunning. So it gives a little bit of coverage like the Auric and also just that glow. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Everyone told me I'd love this because it's just like the Auric one. Or the Auric one's just like this. I don't know, depending how you want to look at it. I'd say it's a little bit like, I don't know, a little bit easier to blend or like lighter. Like less pigmented or something than the Auric. I don't know, maybe? Has anyone else tried both? Do you agree with that? Or is it just because I use like stuff all? But either way, I love it. I will definitely keep using that. The colour actually is fine because I didn't use too much. I'm gonna even go in with a little bit more because I'm addicted to the glow. Packaging is adorable as well. Yeah. So happy with this. Look, I'm like quite pale right now. That looks amazing. And I don't feel dry anymore, so I don't know if this is also hydrating or if it's just the serum. Either way, love. Foundation. I do have this, and I think I bought this from memory off. Mecca. I've got some stuff that I've bought recently off Mecca and Sephora because I've just been doing some random shopping. Um, so we'll try some more stuff that I bought today. But it is the Stila Tinted Moisturizer Skin Balm in the shade 2.0. Packaging's really cute. And I've swatched it with my finger to see the color, but do you reckon this will be okay for today? I'm going to just try it. What does it say? Because I have no idea how to approach this or what it does. Um, it says it's a clean multi-use skincare makeup product blend. Undetectable, lightweight, silky balm, fortified with skin nourishing natural extracts, buildable from sheer to medium coverage, apply with fluffy brush, swirl brush over balm and lightly stroke on skin, blending outwards from center of face. Fluffy brush? I don't know about that. I might actually just go in with the same brush that like I used before. I'm going to do one side of my face and see if we can tell a difference. I don't even know if I'm like putting any on right now. I haven't had the best like track run with Stila. Um, foundations. I have tried a different one ages ago and literally like had to take it off. Like I was filming a first impression, foundation first impression, and I like had to stop and just take it off because it looked messed up. Like it was so bad. I can't remember what one it was 
Do any of you guys remember? Because I did film it, I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit on with my finger. I can't really tell what's happening. Yeah, it's like very light. I don't know how you would get medium out of this. But it is pretty. Like it's very smoothing. Kind of just like blurs your skin. Let me zoom you all the way in. Can you tell the difference between like those two sides of my face? Let me darken this. That's a bit better. Can you tell the difference? I feel like a no makeup look. The difference is so subtle, like I definitely think this would be for those of you who lack a no makeup look or you just want like that slight kind of coverage, almost like a tinted moisturiser that kind of just like blurs your skin a little bit. Mm, I'm not sold on it for me. I feel like for me this is like almost a waste of time. Um, I don't know, I'd just rather use something else. I don't know if I have any new concealers, so I'll probably just use something I already have. But I do have a new powder by One Size. Patrick Star, I bought it myself because I saw his like launch, you know, promo content and I was like, well, it looks really good, for, like full coverage and everything. So that sounded like a bit of me. We'll try that with this and just see how much coverage we can add with the powder rather than going in with another foundation. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I feel like my skin, it's like I can't tell if it's more blurred or more textured now that it's settling in. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's just like the same as no makeup, except I look like more glowy. I don't know, I can't tell what's happened. Please give me your feedback. Do I keep this or do I give this to a friend? What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna conceal and be right back. Actually, I'll just set underneath as well. I used the Born This Way concealer by Too Faced and I'm using the Pat McGrath under eye powder because I'm trying to get some money's use out of it because I don't know how to feel. Oh my god, today John Cena followed me on Twitter too. It's a big day. Alright, I feel a bit crusty, so that's not ideal. I bought a couple of powders because I didn't really know what colour to get. We have it the shades Light Golden. Oh wait, Light 4 Golden and Fair Neutral. Oh, Fair 3 Neutral. Oh my god, why am I screwing up so bad? Packaging is cute. I love the pink and red vibes. Can you tell like my nails anyways yeah i feel like my face just looks crusty and like textured all of a sudden it's like i don't know if it's separating like that steel balm stuff or if that's just how it settles into the skin like anyways the packaging is cute custom and you open it up it's got a mirror and the product you read about it real quick medium to full coverage powder foundations help blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores good while controlling shine. So I'm assuming it's going to be matte, velvet matte finish, buttery and buildable. You can blot, set, touch up skin, non cakey. Use it with a powder brush or a puff. Build to desired finish. Let's give it a go. I think I'm going to use the darker one of the two. I might end up mixing them. This is the darker one and then this is the paler one. I feel like I've gone a bit overboard with the pale one. So just kind of like blotting it onto the skin. It looks nice. I feel like the colour for me right now is a little bit too golden. I feel like <clears throat> my throat. I feel like if I had a touch more fake tan on it would be really nice because this is definitely the undertone that I go with like those fake tans but it's kind of like gone right now. Just applying like a sheer kind of layer over the forehead. This has made my skin look far less textured that's for sure. And I'm going to add some over my eye area because it's looking too pale. Yeah, it's nice. I'm not sure how I'd compare it yet to my favourite like Max Studio Fix powder. Because um, this is the first time I'm using it. But appearance wise it looks similar to the MAC one that I love. Like, you know, quite full coverage. The finish is nice too. It's actually not that matte. Like, it is matte. But it's not like dry dusty matte. It actually still looks pretty to me because I just don't like super flat matte you know actually I think I bought this shade because I saw Patrick perhaps using it to set under his eyes so maybe that's why I bought this I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of like highlight just this area right here this is the light one so far so good I do like it um we'll continue to try it out Tim I had a new under eye setting powder by Laura Mercy I'll try it next time though because I'm obviously doing a PR haul so There'll be more full face of first impressions. Did I try the new like Huda Beauty Brow products? How bad is it that I literally cannot remember? Well, I'm gonna try it. Surely I did. Oh well, we're using this today. This is the shade Light Brown. It's got a spoolie on one end. This is how the packaging looks. 
And then on the other end, whoops, that's the spoolie. <laughs> the other end is a super duper fine, tiny, 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 you can barely even see it, little brow pencil. This is like even thinner than like a lot of others they claim to be thin, I swear. Anyways, I'm going to use this to fill in my brows wherever they look a little bit dull. I like the texture a lot. It's not too creamy, not too dry, so it's nice and easy to create like those natural lines. Yeah, I do like this. Oh my gosh, my stomach's making really loud noises, I'm sorry. After this, I'm going to make Hamish and I bagels with scrambled egg on top. I'm like obsessed right now with bagels. Like I'm trying to only let myself have bagels a couple times a week because otherwise I actually get addicted and I just eat the same thing every day, like twice a day. So I'm like, no, just sometimes don't fall into this trap again. Not like there's anything wrong with bagels, but you know. I need to moderate it, okay? They're expensive. I'm doing a little bit of a thicker brow today because I feel like it. I've got my nail appointment today. Oh, look cute. It's in the shape of a diamond. Um, I've got my nail appointment today. So, you know, if I look a little bit crazy, it's okay. Like, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with her at this point. I don't think I have a new brow mascara. I'm going to use Brow Sculpt by Maybelline because I've not used this in a bit. Adding a decent amount of product, this is in the shade medium brown because I just am loving dark brows right now. Now that I'm feeling a lot better from my cold, I need to book in and get my brows done once and for all because these things are sassy. Here comes the rain. Every time I say here comes, I think of that TikTok. Here comes the boy. I don't know. Here comes the rain. Just the way my little brain works. My little tiny peanut brain. We have the Everyday Vacay by Ciate. Looks like this. Beautiful packaging. Did I not try this when I did my Ciate video? Mustn't have. So this coconut apparently and it's got a pump like this. Mm. Yeah that smells like a vacation. Oh, obsessed. Actually like sprays a whole lot of product. But I still can't help myself from spraying like 80 sprays onto my face even though I'm like dripping wet now but it feels so good. Okay the powder I feel like oxidized half a shade or something did but it's okay. By the time I put on a jacket no one will ever know. That's how the skin's looking I feel like it came through. Once we contour and everything I think it'll look nice um and like have you know some eye makeup on. My brows look a little bit grouchy. A little bit angry. It's all the peep like the little fuzzy hairs get like Ugh, stuff on them and it's just ugly. I need to get my brows done. I should really like go around with like a concealer but I'm just feeling a little bit like lazy right now and I just don't want to, to be fair. I'm just going to use the spoolie to kind of like comb through and hopefully soften them a little bit. And then the front here just helps to like blend in the product so it doesn't look as harsh. I definitely went a little bit overworn in a couple of spots. Oh, I just don't look at that one. Let's try out the P. Louise Date Night palette. Um, it's the Love Tapes, I don't know, but it's just got some good colors in here. Cause, okay, the first feedback that people said was, how about trying it with a lighter color, not just black on my skin tone. Cause black is so harsh and I never wear black. So for me to like just chuck heaps of black on, it's like quite full on. Like I'm not supposed to be a reverse cat eye, like eyeliner on the bottom, but also, it's just, it's a lot when I don't really wear black on my lower area. So <laughs> I thought we would try it just with like browns, like dark browns. Um, I also need like some kind of highlight shade just to like put it over my eyelid just a little bit. So I think I'll try out this Fire Queen Forest Scope. This is a bronze blush and highlight palette by Benefit. Oh, cute packaging. So it comes like this and then like this. It's got a bronzer, highlighter blush and whatever this is. I don't know. We'll try it on our face at the end. But I'm going to take Blaze. I'm going to use a dense shadow brush by XO Beauty and I'm just going to pick some of this up and pop that on that same kind of area. This is a face highlighter obviously, not an eyeshadow, but we're just using this to highlight this inner part. I have to use quite a lot. My eyelids are so dry what is happening is it my like pro is it the products i used before is it because it's just like cold and i'm dry in general or like what's happened i don't know 
It's like making my eyeshadow all highlighter go on. Really weird. Oh well. That's that. We might have to add some more, something like a little bit brighter in a bit, but actually I've got something new. We've got these Dazzle Sticks by KVD Beauty. And they look like this. I purchased these because I saw them on TikTok. And then they're supposed to be like amazing. And then I'm going to take my uh, what is this? I should have a brush because I don't want it to be like ridiculously opaque. I just want it to be blended because the whole point is for the top lid to be reasonably nude, right? So I'm just blending it with this brush. I feel like it sets though where you put it, so work quick. I feel like I've left it there for too long and it's only been like 20 seconds. I'm like filming a TikTok at the same time as this, so I was filming my TikTok and now I'm like, shit, it is there. It is stuck. Okay. Just gonna be a little bit rough and we'll get there in the end. But that's cool that it sets, right? And this is how it looks when you like use a sheer. Whereas you can build it up and it goes like full on. It's stunning. I love the color. I'm just gonna add a little bit more directly to my brush from the tube and just like add a little bit more on this eye because I feel like there's less on this eye. Ah, is that even? And then I'm going to take a little uh, fluffy blender brush with, I guess I'll just pop on like Matchmaker. I don't wanna to use too much, but once again, oh God, that's a lot darker than I thought it would be. We're just gonna buff that out and make it almost invisible. But just like for something, the biggest feedback was, um, well, for the top area of my eye was to use really dramatic lashes. And last time, like if you watched the video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below where I did this video for the first time, or this look for the first time. But I said like, I didn't wanna do real dramatic lashes cause it kind of like, defeated the purpose of having like nothing on top but then people were like no do dramatic lashes so that's what we're doing today <laughs> and I just really want to take some more of this highlighter and try to like blend that to the ball of my eye so that that doesn't just look weird and floaty it's a little bit of fallout because I was like <laughs> scrubbing so vigorously all right I've got a new eyeliner people were saying do purple or brown so plum that's right in the middle all right Plum. Plumeria by Makeup Geek. So it's going on the waterline. Oh my god, it's like kind of shimmery. Can you even see what I'm doing? I hope so. And also I'm going to connect it to this outer area. People were saying try connecting it to that very outer corner. Don't like apply a lot up here, but just to connect because like we're going up like this. So you'll see there. Just so it looks seamless. And then add a bit more and keeping that inner corner the thinnest people said and then i'm just going to smooth this out with this eyeliner brush all right that's looking kind of cool i'm liking the shape <laughs> going back in and building it up a little also applying a little bit to the tight line. And then I'm gonna take a short shadow brush. I'm gonna take this shade here called Reservations and I'm gonna mix it with the brown next to it. Let's hope it makes a good color. And then taking the color that we used, you know, on the lid, the blender brush, I'm gonna soften Kind of focusing from like directly underneath and like you know all the way up and then i'm hoping we can like kind of clean up that extra pigment at the end if we need to but so far like that looks way better right i'm gonna do it the same on the other eye this eyeliner is so stunning by the way wow hardest part is trying to make it somewhat even and the little eyeliner brush is very useful just to smooth the pigment out and like get exactly where you need it since like you know it's a little bit hard with a little eyeliner pencil unless it's perfectly sharp which I'm too lazy this is way easier this is so creamy I'm just gonna overextend it a little bit on the inner corner just all right and now a little bit of the eyeshadow and then a really soft blend both sides are definitely different angles. 
but whatever. I'm trying to decide if I need to like keep leaning it down a little more and making it more dramatic or if I just leave it. All right, let's just stop there. We can always add some more eyeshadow if we need to in a little bit, but I just want to go straight in now and pop on the mascara and everything and the, little, and the lashes and things and then get some stuff on the rest of my face because I'm like kind of excited. I don't know. This is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift again. It's like such a stunning mascara. I, don't, I love this one. Have you guys tried it before? By the way, those eyeshadows are so blendable, as you can see. Like, they keep going and going, and they're very soft. Okay, this color, though, no joke, like, I thought the black made my eyes look super hazel. Like, in real life, I don't know about on camera, but in real life, like, my eyes look insane. They look so cool. This eyeliner is a new favorite, I think. Like, I love the color. I can imagine it would just look so beautiful, like, just softly blended onto, like, the top outer corners and stuff like that, too. Or, like, just, like, chucked all over the lid, because they're so creamy and blendable until they set, that I could just, like wipe eyeliner all over my eye and then just blend it out it would look so cool if you like this video too where i'm trying a look for the second time let me know because i feel like a lot of the time i try trains and i hate it and then i just leave it um do you like this kind of character development <laughs> all right once again loading up the lower lashes you can't even see what i'm doing okay now the challenge is to find some dramatic lashes with an invisible band so that it doesn't look like I've got heaps of eyeliner on the top lash line. How about these? These are Anastasia Beverly Hills Attention and I'm obsessed with how they look. Are these invisible bands or are these actual like individuals? I can't even tell because like they low-key look like invisibles. I mean invisibles, individuals. <laughs> what the hell? They are one lash band. I feel like these will be perfect. Hopefully they're dramatic enough. Well, these are definitely dramatic. They are long and wispy as heck and I feel like we need to like flatten them a little bit because right now they're just like pointing to the freaking gods and it just looks weird like they need to like flatten but let's just focus on getting them stuck on first. <laughs> this first one is like cooked. He's like having his own party. I don't know how to like not get it to do that. Oh no. I might have pulled it off the tray a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crooked. Oh no. Well, ugh. it's just that they're stuck on so well onto the tray. I'm just using XO Beauty Clear Lash Glue. Oh my god, I can't take myself seriously with this giant cluster. What is it doing? Please stop it. I'm just gonna just sit here and like train it to not stick straight up in the air. It's not working. It's, it's just not working. These lashes are the kind of lashes that really need dramatic eye makeup on the top to like carry them. Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, I'm just gonna trust the process. Alright, so we do have the bronzer in here. I guess I'm just gonna use it. Uh, even though I've technically used Hula before, right? But oh well. Gonna do some contouring because we need it. Put some on my nose. Am I too zoomed in for you guys right now or is this like acceptable? I'm not too sure. I do know it needs to darken up a bit because... The um, sun's coming out finally, which is nice. Very nice. I'm adding like a decent amount because I love bronzer. And I haven't used Hula in the longest time. My favorite is the, oh, what's it called? The warm Hula. I don't think it's the toasted one. What is it called? I can't remember. Anyways, it's like my holy grail. And actually this wasn't done on purpose, but I feel like the blushes and everything are gonna look so good. So I'm gonna start with Starlet which is this one. I'm just going to tap a little bit. It's a really pretty color. It's actually quite natural. Kind of like a medium buildable pigmentation. It looks like it's got a sheen to it too, which is pretty. And then we're going to use Solstice, which looks like baked or something perhaps. Once again, like a medium kind of pigmentation. So you could wear it sheer or buildable, which is nice. The berry tones are cute. Okay. And then I'm going to take my detail face brush with Blaze and just buff this onto my cheekbones. This is so subtle, like super subtle. Oh, I feel like it just went into my eye. I'm actually not sold on the highlight. Like it's a really nice natural glow. Do you know what it reminds me of actually? Which used to be a favorite, which is like, you know, ironic considering right now I'm like, oh, I don't know how much I like it, but hey, tastes change. But back in the day, my holy grail used to be that Laura Mercier, like baked highlighter and it was like a candle lit glow like this and it was like so soft and natural and beautiful and like that's what I used to love like that's what this reminds me of so like I can still appreciate it like it looks 
naturally stunning, but I don't know. I don't know how much I'd reach for it um, now, you know, but it is stunning. And the good thing about this kind of formula too is that it doesn't accentuate any texture. Like it blurs. So if you've got a lot of texture on your cheekbones and you can't wear like glittery products, then you'll probably love this. It's growing on me. No wonder I was struggling to get it to like stick to my eyelid. It's because it's such like a soft kind of formula. I'm still going to add a little bit though to my brow bone because I really liked that last time. I'm going to add a little bit more setting spray. It's so bright now. There we go. The like sprayer is very short so like you like spray heaps but like I said I still really like this. I don't hate it. I'm not sold. Like I feel like it makes my eyes look like smaller. Like lazy eyed almost. Like I look very like half asleep. Like I look tired. Is it the colour? Is it the style? I look kind of stoned. Like my eyes look really full on. And I'm not. <laughs> Needless to say. I have these lip liners by Peaches and Cream. Which I thought that was like an adult shop right? Um, I don't know where these came from. Did I buy them? Or did I get sent them? I don't even know. But let's try one. Okay. Something a bit more pinky nude I think. Ooh. This one is a borderline lip liner. It's a cool name. Nice texture. And I thought it was cool. These are made in the Czech Republic, I think. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Random, eh? I love the colour. Love it. And the texture's nice. Creamy, but not like ridiculously creamy. Just like the perfect amount where you could still fill in your lips with it. But it still doesn't feel like it's just gonna like transfer, transfer, <laughs> transfer everywhere. Definitely keeping that. I love the color. All right, now a new lipstick. I'm gonna pop on a tiny bit of it the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nakey Nakey Matte lipstick. I don't think I've used this before. Mm, smells so good. Just a little bit in the middle, kind of, and then blending it. Just so it's like a little ombre. That like looks like it's made for the lip pencil. Look at that. That's so pretty. Do I gloss? Of course I do. Of course I do. Do I have any gloss? What happens if I use this? Lip Glow Jelly, but spelt G-E-L-E-E. -E. Is that jelly or is that pronounced different? Don't screw me like that. We're blonde, seriously. Okay, but the color is like pink with like hot pink. I'm obsessed, but it doesn't really look like it's gonna go with this lipstick, right? But we're going to try it anyway, because I don't care. Um, it doesn't seem... Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Crystal Energy is the colour. But I'm just going to, like... I've wiped off most of it. Oh, God. It's iridescent. Oh, God. I'm nervous. Let me stop right there. That's cool. For a certain look, it reflects purple. Not for this. That one's a pinky colour, too. Okay. <gasps> is it going to be too purple, though? I don't know. We're going to try it. Okay, this is the Ofra one in BRB. It's so pigmented. Just try and blend it in a little bit so it doesn't look like out of place. Oh, that's actually cool. I like that. Okay, if my eyebrows weren't hideous, I'd probably be feeling this a bit more. Let's take the hair down. Oh, God. I literally cleaned my room like a week ago and it's already a pigsty again. Like, I can't even see anything on my desk. Wow. Okay, it's definitely better though, right? It's different though, like the last one was kind of like badass sexy energy, you know, like villain. This is kind of villain energy as well, but a little bit more like cutesy too. Different vibes, what do you prefer? Did you like how I did it last time? Thicker, blacker, you know, or do you prefer it thinner in a corner, bigger lashes, bit of colour. I love the colour, that's a non-negotiable, like the colour itself. Maybe in like a different makeup look, but I love it. And even on the waterline, it's so cool. But it does slightly make me look stoned because it's like got those pink kind of undertones to it. But oh well, it's worth it because it's cute as. Um, I really want to try that KVD Beauty, which is not owned by Kat Von D anymore. I'm sure all of you are caught up on that, but just in case you didn't know, it's nothing to do with her anymore. That's why it's not called like Kat Von D Beauty anymore. It's like KVD. They're like KVD Vegan Beauty. So the V stands for vegan and then the d i don't know like obviously they couldn't change the whole name of the brand but yeah she's got nothing to do with it but anyway i really want to try it again like opaque on my eyelid i think it looks so cool oh my god the lighting is popping off me at the end too yay okay anyways let me know what you thought um 
I tried heaps of new stuff today. The primer, or what do you call it? You know, the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, love. Love the serum. I love the eyeliner. I love the dazzle stick, the lip pencil. The lipstick feels amazing. The blush looks stunning. The powder is really good. Um, not sure about the Steeler Balm stuff. The eyeshadow palette's good. Bit boring, but good. I still love boring because, you know, boring is what I use on a day to day basis. That's what it looks like, just a reminder. Stunning still. Um, and lashes are cool, but maybe with a different makeup. I don't know. I don't know how to feel with the, you know, this reverse cat eye situ. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I really want to try the reverse cat eye again, but with some of your feedback taken on board. My base is on. Wish me luck. I'm trying these like viral KVD Beauty like dazzle stick things on my inner corner too just for the the highlight. People were saying do purple or brown. How about plum? It's kind of like in the middle. Keep okay, it thinner on the inner and then add a little bit to connect you know right at the outer corner. Um, so far I feel like it's looking okay but I'm still a little bit concerned and I feel like I'm doing it wrong but let's trust the process. Guys it's looking so much more promising. These lashes are really big but People were saying dramatic lashes. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and let's see what happens. Here's the finished look. I love the color. The color is bomb. I feel like it looks a little bit more flattering, but I'm still not sold. I just don't really know if it suits my eye shape. What do you think? Bye.